A Speaker's Corner follow-up, a contractor accused of leaving several customers across the GTA high and dry has been dodging our calls for weeks. So we had them come to us to answer some important questions. We should preface by saying this is not the way we had hoped to do things, but felt it was the only way to make contact with them. Back in August, we introduced you to Jesus Fajardo, one of many people trying to get back money from a bathtub reglazing company he hired and paid $3,000. I decided to do something that it's called refinishing or reglazing. A multi-step process that starts by applying a special reglazing chemical to make a bathtub look new. But he was left with what he calls a disaster. And unfortunately, it was a mess. There was a lot of paint all over the floor. Paint was dripping from the walls. It's a good paint, but for walls, mm -hmm. not for that application that they were selling. Since our report aired, we heard from other people with the exact same complaints. It's like a damage, damage my property. All have tried for months to contact the company for refunds. None got any. The company also did not respond to letters from lawyers hired by these customers. No, yeah. no, no. I didn't get any, re any refund. Actually, my phone number was blocked by this business, so they don't take the phone anymore. The company has a Facebook page and cell phone number, which we called and texted multiple times without a response. There's no building address listed either, so we couldn't go to them. So we decided the only way to get answers was to set up a call for service under the guise of a real customer. We texted. They responded right away. When they arrived... I'm sorry to do this, but we've been trying to reach out to you. My name is Pat Tate. I'm actually a reporter with City News. Before walking away, the woman who did not give us her name told us she owned the company. But as soon as she saw the City News camera, stopped talking. You know, a lot of people have complained that saying that they've been left with paint instead of actual reglazing material. Do you not want to answer our questions? We hope to ask her more, if she had an explanation, or if she'd be willing to work with the customers complaining. But she drove away. We showed Fajardo the encounter. I had a picture of her when she was performing the activity at my place. Also, those pictures are correlated to the same person that you sent me. Fajardo claims to know her name, but the business, now called Bathtubs Tile and Refinishing, changed right after our original report aired, is not legally registered with Ontario, so we could not independently confirm that through records. Fajardo contacted Peel Police. A spokesperson said unfinished or bad jobs are not criminal matters. He is considering legal action. So, first of all, I want to thank you for, for the follow-up, also the commitment to, to chase these people. At some point, this needs to stop because this is thing that this is a criminal activity that it's going on. Pat Taney, City News.